everyone it's raquel of raquel's carbon cuisine and today's recipe is going to be a sorrel food cake this is rich in color no artificial coloring was added strictly sorrel and fruits it's extremely moist not to mention packed with flavor and spices this is absolutely faultless and this is perfect for the holiday season so first thing first, we're going to start with our sorrel. And here I have some fresh sorrel petals, the darker shade, which is richer in color and the lighter shade. I'm going to use both, but any kind would work just fine. I also have this large batch of sorrel. So stay tuned for a sorrel drink recipe. So over here, I have a pot with about three cups of water, along with some ginger and cinnamon for flavor. Now I'm going to brew the sorrel petals to extract that beautiful color and to soften it up as well. And the sorrel in the packets would work just the same. Now I'm going to add a bit of sugar just to balance out the flavors because sorrel tends to have that tangy, sour taste. Just going to bring this to a slight simmer, which took about two minutes. Then I'm going to cover and I'm going to allow to cool. So after about an hour or two, this has cooled down nicely and the color is just beautiful. Now I'm going to puree this and you want to blend this as smooth as you can. Just in order not to get that trashy petals in your cake. See that? This is nice, smooth, mushy. The color is rich just perfect and it smells amazing no artificial coloring would be needed just gonna add this puree to a bowl and the syrup that was left behind will not go to waste i'm gonna show you how to incorporate it later right so here i have two cups of sorrel puree now to this i'm gonna add one cup of blended fruits so this is gonna be a sorrel fruit cake a link on how to soak your fruits will be listed down below in the description box so now that the pure sorrel is ready, now let the baking begin. So now to a bowl, I'm going to add half a pound of butter, half a pound of sugar, or one cup of sugar. And this is a half a pound cake recipe, which is going to give me two cakes. I'm going to cream the butter and the sugar until it becomes nice and fluffy. And if you have a standing mixer, even better. So now that the butter and sugar is nice and fluffy, I'm going to add four large eggs or five small eggs. I'm going to give that a mix. And I'm also going to add one teaspoon of lime zest to the egg just to cut the raw eggy smell. And believe it or not, the lime zest gives flavor as well. Now I'm going to gradually add this to the butter mixture a little at a time just to prevent it from curdling. So now that the butter, sugar, and eggs are nicely combined, now in with the star of the show, the sorrel and food puree. And you see that color? This is just beautiful. Now I'm going to mix this in. And for flavor, I'm going to add some vanilla essence and some almond and rose water. A full written recipe will be listed down below in the description box. now that the wet ingredients are done it's time for the dry ingredients and because this is a half a pound cake recipe two cups of baking flour which is equivalent to half a pound i'm gonna add some baking powder salt nutmeg cinnamon powder and some mixed spice i'm gonna mix that together then i'm gonna sift which makes it light and airy now i'm going to fold this into the wet butter adding a little at a time until it's all mixing and try not to over mix your butter I'm gonna mix until everything is nicely combined i did not add any artificial coloring to this sorrel butter but if you see where your cake need a bit more color just go right ahead and make your adjustments because not all sorrel are rich in color you could add a bit of red food coloring just to enhance it know that this is nicely mixed in i want to tell you this is smelling so good the essence the spices so now to my baking pan that was already greased and lined with paper i'm going to pour the butter in 
and i'm going to gently knock this down just to make sure it's level perfectly in the pan and to our preheated oven i'm going to allow these to bake for one and a half hours 45 minutes at 250 degrees then i'm going to reduce the heat to 200 for another 45 minutes low and slow and try not to rush your cake the higher the oven temperature it tends to dry out the cake and that will allow it to crack up a bit now i'm gonna add a water bath at the bottom of the oven and this pan of water would help to control the oven temperature which helps for the cake not to dry out too quickly while the cakes are baking i told you i was gonna come back to this rich sorrel syrup which have the flavors from the cinnamon the slight hint of ginger that was balanced off nicely with the sugar i'm going to add that to a bowl along with your favorite rum or wine and i'm going to use this to feed the cake when it's done baking so when you hear me say this cake is perfect in terms of flavor you best believe one and a half hours later the cakes are done no cracks the toothpick came out clean and i'm going to poke some holes so the liquid would be able to soak within and i'm going to drench this down with my concoction and because the cakes are hot this is just going to soak it up nicely so now for that extra touch because presentation is key i'm going to baste this with a leftover sorrel puree giving it that beautiful glow now i'm going to allow this to sit and cool down a bit before cutting into it this is not only looking good but it smells amazing and there you have it my version of sorrel food cake perfect if you should ask me i really could not wait this was still partially hot but i'm gonna cut into it and show you what i'm talking about this cake was moist it was absolutely flavorful this was extremely delicious remember if you like this video do not leave without clicking the like button and i want to thank you so very much for watching